Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial with your casual keyboard guy. Um, today's lesson is going to be on a song called uh, Learn to Fly, Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. Um, not too hard of a song. Um, the song was requested by uh, my subscriber Jay. Um, this was a request that was when I first started teaching too. It kind of got pushed back down because um, I guess I overlooked it. So sorry about that, brother. I'm going to get this song out to you right now. Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. Real simple song. So I'm going to break it down. Play a little bit through it. Then I'll break it down. Break it down. Like, share, subscribe. Show your boy some love. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Make sure I got some volume. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. pretty much the same thing over and over again i think at the end of the song they do like a um they do like a um what is it uh um, to make my they hold that b and then they do something like in the song like that so not too hard of a song let's uh break it down real quick shouldn't take too long so um Song was in the key of B, so let's uh let's jump into it. Oh. So you start off with this intro, so you don't like a, and this is like a, a a rock song. So what I like to do is like I want to put the one and the five in my left hand of the chord. So the first chord is a B triad. So I'm doing a B and an F sharp in my left hand, and then I'm going to do B F sharp in my left. Then I'm doing B D sharp and F sharp in my right. So this is the left, this is the right, okay? First chord, okay? Um, so from that chord, because you basically got three chords for the intro and basically for the verse, basically, um, and, and for the chorus. It's all kind of the same. But um, let's, uh, let's learn these three major main chords. So you got the B major triad. And I'm using, I told you I'm putting the one and the five in, in, um, in my left hand to, to give you more of that that rock feel, all right? So it's like a power chord. Then we're going to go to this F sharp and C sharp. And then the chord is going to be F sharp, A and C sharp in your right hand. So this is your left hand, F sharp and C sharp. This is your right hand for your second chord all together. Third chord is going to be an E major. So you got E and B. Three 
chords. And so sometimes they, I, hear, I hear like them doing like a resolve, like a sustained E, so like I hear something like that in the song. So, so they're just basically um, taking the G sharp and going, making it an A and then resolving to the G sharp. So something like And like I said, I'm just basically like just kind of bouncing back and forth from this left hand to the right hand, like. Sorry. All right. So I'm just using my left hand as just like a bass. I'm just bouncing the chord. Um, and. Um, so then when they come, and that's just the intro. So the intro is real big. pretty you can kind of arpeggiate the chords you can kind of go like from the bottom from the f sharp c sharp f sharp a c sharp you can kind of do that with all the chords all i'm doing is using the same chords and I'm, just, I'm just kind of separating the notes kind of do that just kind of to separate the melody and the chorus or the uh the chorus and the verse so for the verse you want to be kind of a little bit more soulful or like you know not like you know i guess uh yeah a little bit soulful a little bit more smooth and then the chorus they kind of like you know rev it up a little bit but it's the same chorus um and i'm gonna show you the little change that they do so um so this is the verse <laughs> Then he goes back into um, um, the chorus, same chorus. He's kind of bouncing a little bit. Forget about that sustain. And I'm sure to change. And it's a change. Be a G triad, same thing, G, D in your left. Then you're gonna have a G, B, and D in your right. And left, right, okay, all together. So you got A, E, same concept, A, C sharp, E, with the A and E in the left, the one and the five of the chord, A and the E, and then C sharp. So you got the left. And then, um, and then sometimes they'll end it right here, flop, like with the fly. Um, so I'm gonna show you this. So it's, sometimes they do another type of ending. So they'll go. Um, they kind of like do something like that. So I'm gonna show you that. Uh, we said. And that's gonna be this E. We already learned this E chord. I'm gonna show you where they place it. E, B, E, C sharp, B, and then they go up to this, um, to the F sharp, like I said, they use a lot of the same chords, so the F sharp, is, and this is time to use the F sharp as a passing chord, so it's real quick, so, um, but you know this chord, the F sharp chord, you already learned this one, um, and then we go to the G chord, so let me show you, 
Then they go to the bridge. So they they go to the bridge from the chorus. So they'll go. Uh, Alright. So that little change is going to be. Um, so you come from the chorus. Alright. And this is the court bridge. So you know these chords, B major. You learned this chord a thousand times to the G. Can I make it? Now this is the new chord. No. Let me see. No, I'm saying. All right, so we're gonna do a D this time. Now we're gonna do a D A, and the D is gonna be not as the traditional triad that we've been doing. It's gonna be here. It's gonna be up here. So F sharp. Let's make it the same. Do it like here, just to make it make it the same. So, okay, we just do it like this. So we got the B already, not that B. We got the G chord learned. Now we got the D chord. So you're gonna have D, A, and then you got D, uh, F sharp, and A in your right. So D, A, left, D, F sharp, A, right. Okay. Real simple, real simple chords. Then we're gonna go, guess what? We're gonna rest to the E chord, we already know. So, so, and D. Then we're gonna do that walk up. Same thing, so same thing over and over again. And um, like I said, when you get to the chorus, that's the only time it's kind of chill. Whatever. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Real quick, easy one. Um, like I said, I want to incorporate more rock music and uh, from gospel as well. So. You know, just look forward to, like, you know, just getting a lot of different styles of songs from me. And I'm going to still, of course, keep my classics that I like. You know, my R&B, my Neo Soul and all that good stuff, my old school. But, you know, I want to just start, you know, expanding my channel. So, you know, just trying to grab a different audience. So don't worry, though. I'm not going to, you know, lose my roots. But uh, thanks, guys, for supporting me so far and in this journey. And I really appreciate it. And hopefully you enjoyed this one, learn something different, you know, and um, expand your music library, you know. So. As a people, guys, signing off, like, share, subscribe, and report to love. Peace.